tries to grab your elbow or your wrist, right? Here, nice and tight, right? Yeah? How do you guys defend a two-on-one? That's pretty they common, don't. right? And then they try to square up and get their own, yeah, get their own two-on-one or get an underhook. Okay, so they pull it in nice and tight. If a guy pulls it in tight, here, a lot, a lot of you probably know like a key lock, right? Where you grab your own wrist. You guys see that? Yeah. I do this, but I do it a little bit different. I sink my arm deeper here through. Okay, you guys see that? Mm -hmm. My arm goes all the way under my own arm. Now I turn to show my coach thumbs up that I'm doing it right. Yeah, good job. Okay, that, that puts the sharp part of my forearm right on his arm. Okay? So I slide it under and I turn it, my thumb up. Now all I'm gonna do is step forward and apply the pressure. Okay, and I'm gonna snap him down this way. And get my goal. Here. It's not, okay, it's not here, it's here. Thumb up, right? Right there. Ooh, that's really nice, huh? That's the good, that's the good stuff. <laughs> Should we do it the other arm now too? Yeah, sure. do it one now. Time. I see, I feel right. This is when a guy keeps his arm tight here, and I can't extend it out. Okay, I sink it down underneath. You guys see that? Now I pull it, I'm stepping out front, and I'm snapping it with my hips. Okay, my hips bring him down. Now, when I go behind, I keep the wrist the whole time. And I go behind, what does he do to try to square up? A lot of guys try to reach with that arm, right? So if I have his wrist and I keep his wrist on the mat, what's he gonna grab me with? Nothing, right? So I keep all my weight on his wrist. 